Hello! Uh, in this video I want to talk about the builder pattern uh, that can be used for many uh, programming languages. In this case I'm going to be using it with JavaScript just to give you an example of what it is, what it does, why it is useful and what not. So uh, in this example here we have uh, a very simple object that has three parameters, has a constructor and at the moment the way this object is is that I could, for the example, I might not need parameter 2 and I might not need parameter 3 or parameter 1. So some of the parameters are optional, but we have to have them all in the constructor. Now, one of the things we could do is we could, um, you know, define multiple constructors for this. But that's a bit of a pain. Uh, there are, you know, we also could just use the constructor but say null, null, parameter, for example. Uh, that would be a way of getting around this. But that, again, is a pain. It can lead to messy code. If you think about having uh, some constructor that's got many, many uh, more parameters than this and has nested objects and whatnot, it can, it can be a pain. It can be difficult to know which ones are being null and what have you. So there is a pattern called the builder pattern. And what the builder pattern allows you to do is to basically build objects using the parameters that you specify uh, and ignoring the ones that you don't specify. So to do that, we're going to create a new class, and we'll call it uh, example builder. Okay, I'll stick that back up there. And what we'll do here is we will define our parameters that we're allowed in the object. So we can do uh, param1, param2, param3. We'll then define a noargs constructor. So constructor, uh, that will just be noargs, like that. And the next thing we can start doing is actually creating the method that we're going to call to say I want to to use this parameter. Typically, the keyword you'd use is uh, with. So you well, it's not a keyword as such, but it's just a word that you typically use with the builder pattern. So you'd say with param one, and that would be passed param one. And then um, what what happens in these methods is we will say this param one is equal to param one so we're going to set the the this variable here with the variable that we've passed here what we're then going to do is we're going to return this meaning we're going to return the context of the object as it currently stands uh, and as this is a builder it will be a builder object uh, that only has at the moment param one uh, created but it also Let's say we'd also called uh, with param2 before having called param one, uh, with param1. If we'd set param2 first, well then when we return this, we will return what we've just set here as param1 on top of returning what we've set for param2. Which means that we can chain this method. So I'll show you what that means in a second. So if I was to just, uh, you know, whoopsie daisy, if I just copy this another couple of times to create the the other two methods so if I can get out of insert mode so we will just replace some of these with twos like that replace that with a three. Oh dear oh dear you can't type place that with a three place that with a three there's got to be a quicker way of doing this or I might be being slow. Okay, so now we have all that. We've got all our parameters defined uh, with the with methods. What we can then do is what we need to do at some point is we need to turn this builder object into the actual object that it is building, right? So to do that, you'll have a build method. Build will take no arguments. And what build will do is it will take the current this context as it stands at the point which you call uh, the build method, and it will use it to construct a new argument a, a new object example object so for example we would just say return new example object and you would say this param one this param whoops this param two and this param three now at the time at which this object is called at the time at which we actually say yes i would like to build this object it could be that this param1, this param2, and this param3 are all null, in which case it won't have any parameters defined in the object that we build. 
It could be that param 2 is defined. It could be that param 2 and 3 are defined. Um, and this is what the great thing that the builder does. So, for example, uh, let's create a builder and we'll say uh, const builder and we'll do new uh, example builder. What we can now do is I can say builder um, with uh, param, let's say param 2, I can say hello there and what I can also do is I can then call another dot on top of that so I can say you know with param 3 for example param 3 I could say uh, hi and then what I need to finally do here is call dot build and then over here I want to insert the start of the word uh, you know uh, object 2 because we've already got object 1 defined in the scope and then if I do a console log object 2 and we build that we can see we've got two things happening here we've got the first thing is the the initial construction using just the normal constructor and this has got the following parameters defined the new object we define though um, we've only defined param 1 and param 2 and instead we've got param1 as being undefined but we didn't explicitly state that we didn't construct it saying undefined it's just because we've used the builder and we've never actually given it a value that it'll be undefined um, and with the builder as well order doesn't matter so i could for example uh swap this out i could swap two out for three i could swap three out for one and we rerun the same thing again and now we can see that the values have changed to param1 and param3 They've, they've swapped, swapped around from what they were earlier. Um, one thing to be aware of, though, is one of the things that the builder pattern doesn't give you uh, safety for is the order of the parameters. So the order of the parameters, as I say, can change, right? So what we can actually do here is if I was to um, construct a this and use uh, param3, twice uh, what do you think is going to happen so what's going to happen here is that high is going to be the value in param 3 and nothing else will be okay and that's because it's the last thing that we passed the builder so that's just something to be aware of you can mistakenly pass, uh, call the with method on the same uh, argument twice and it will be overwritten the second time and it won't you know moan about that or let you, you know, know about it another potential problem with the builder is that you could, for example, um, have a converter class so that converts one object to another object. And if you're using a builder in those converters, uh, you won't get any warnings when that object, one of the objects changes because the builder will just be like, yep, yeah, totally fine. Whereas if you're using a constructor and explicitly calling null in the constructor, it would moan because you'd have you know problems with the constructor, meaning that there's not enough arguments to that constructor. Whereas the builder would just, you know, be pretty much fine. So that's just something to be aware of. But it is very useful, especially for when you're writing tests or when you're trying to construct an object where you don't actually need half of the parameters that are in there. So hopefully this has been uh, interesting. Uh, more videos coming soon. Ta-ta for now. Out of a